Hi, I'm CJ. Welcome to My RC Hobby. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Hobby King Raven 1500 uh, Discus Launch Glider. And uh, I've been really looking forward to this. I was going to get uh, a competition level DLG, but there's not a lot of uh, F3K competition in my area. And I thought a Discus Launch Glider would be a lot of fun to have anyway. So I went with a considerably cheaper option. Uh, the Raven made by Hobby King comes with servos uh, already installed, uh, comes with a BEC battery elimination circuit so you can use a, uh, a LiPo battery like a two or three cell battery. Um, you're going to want to use a small one and uh, put in your receiver, hook everything up, a little bit of assembly and you're flying. And uh, these just look like a lot of fun, something uh, great for parks, small fields, uh, sloping, whatever you want. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. Here we have the uh, forward portion of the fuselage. Here we have the tail boom. I'll open these all up and give you a closer look. Let's see what we have here. Betting that's the EEC. Take a look in there in a moment. Here we have rudder and elevator. It's definitely well packed. Not a ton of padding, but it looks like a very sturdy box and packed in such a way that should arrive where it's going in one piece. Uh, here we have the two wing halves. As you can see, they've got uh, some very large control surfaces for the uh, flapperons. Let's take a closer look. Thought that was rubber band at first. It is just some tape. And there we have our four micro servos already installed. This is a fiberglass fuse. It's got a little bit of carbon toe or carbon strap down along either side. Those are just the servo wires. And you'll notice that two of these are, <clears throat> are positioned uh, so that the um, control arms are uh, on the same line with each other. Those are gonna be for the two ailerons. Uh, the push rods for the ailerons are gonna exit through these slots and go to the control horns on the wings. And we got a little carbon fiber canopy or faux canopy. Let's 
This is a very light carbon fiber boom. The carbon fiber is very thin. There's a slot already cut in the rear for the rudder. Hopefully that's nice and square. mount for the horizontal stabilizer is already on here. staples out because this is a, a Ziploc anti-static bag and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the BEC to show you but I'm going to want to put it back until I'm ready to begin assembly. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Uh, just enough circuitry to step down the voltage from a two cell lipo to uh, feed your receiver and servos. Now, like a, a lot of Hobby King models, there's little or no instructions, in this case, none, uh, but don't be dissuaded. Um, those instructions are available online. Uh, I figure it saves them a little money in printing costs. They're available in PDF documents. All you have to do is go to the same page where you found the airplane, click on the uh, download files tab, and you can download the PDF. And if you feel the need, you can print it. Otherwise you can just walk off, work off of a tablet or a computer if you have one uh, close to your work area. I wanna be careful not to cut into the tip of the tail surface there. These appear to all be well covered. This is a very thin surface. It feels like uh, like a plywood. I'd be willing to, to wager that is plywood. And uh, the holes are already drilled for mounting. Uh, it's got large holes drilled in the surface for lightning. And as you can see, this uh, black line here, this is a piece of carbon fiber, so the surface is reasonably rigid. It, is, uh, it does not have the spring on it yet, it appears. Uh, the hinging is a little tight going in, the, in that direction, but I don't think that's a problem. I think that'll wear in. It's just a monocoat hinging. rudder I would expect is exactly the same. Let me go ahead and get that out of there. There we go. Now you're probably going to have to cut away a little bit of the covering uh, so that this can be glued into the slot in the tail section. And yes, same kind of monocoat hinging. Same carbon fiber, and uh, this looks more like it may actually be balsa wood versus ply, but there's a plywood uh, center structure. Let's have a look at our wings. So, uh, 
things I can notice right off the bat, there's, uh, there's plywood being used for the wing ribs. There's plywood structure in the wing tip for uh, bracing the pin. Nice thing, it's hinged on the bottom and that's going to allow for the flap rons to be able to drop at a fairly steep angle. They may even approach 90 degrees. We'll see how that goes in the build out. Uh, slots for the fiberglass control horns are already cut. Not sure with the, what the hole is there for. Uh, the holes for the, uh, the uh, mounting bolts are, are already in place. Probably just need to trim a little covering there and the wings are going to have to be glued together it's designed to be a, a one piece not a two piece wing i'm not going to pull out the uh the second wing surface it's going to look just like the, that one and uh you'll get to see them all during the build video which will be coming out shortly let me just have a look in this hardware bag in there. Nope, that's it. Okay, um, we have uh, some uh, what is probably Kevlar thread. Uh, that's going to be for the um, for the rear control surfaces. The rear control surfaces are uh, actuated instead of a push rod, which does a push and pull or a pull pull method. Um, they use a spring, uh, which is very hard to see. Um, it's a, a very thin piece of uh, music wire or spring steel wire. And uh, you, well, I'll, I'll talk more about that during the build. Basically, the spring will hold the control surface in, in one position. And you use the thread to pull it back to center. And then the, when the servo actuates, it will pull and... Uh, release the control surface um, and uh, so that way you get an, an accurate motion uh, and that is nice and consistent without the weight of a uh, solid push rod. Uh, most discus launch gliders uh, use a thread or a very thin uh, stainless steel pull cable uh, and use the spring method at the hinge point. I'm not sure uh, what this wooden piece is. That may be to uh, help align the wings or, oh, that's right. This is uh, to help align the tail surfaces. I read something about that in the instructions. Uh, we've got a, this carbon fiber tab, which is gonna go over the, uh, the wing bolt holes uh, across the wing where the joining section is to provide a little more strength. And this, uh, thin piece of carbon fiber here with a slight bend in it. That's going to be the, uh, uh, that's going to join the wings together. So there's a, a couple of little parts here that uh, I'll go into all of this stuff uh, during the build. The aileron uh, push rods are pre-bent, which is nice. Uh, so they're already the correct length and uh, the right bend to be able to actuate the wings. Let's have a look in here. Ah, and it's just a little note that they tucked into the fuselage uh, letting you know where to find the instructions. Well, the, that's about it for this video. Just wanted to give you the unboxing and uh, show you what you get for about $199. If you go direct through Hobby King, uh, they have them for uh, about $199. I paid a little bit more for mine because I had to get it off eBay at the time. Hobby King was out of stock and uh, they only had a few on their um, on their eBay site and those were selling for 215 and uh, I wasn't that worried about the $15 as much as I wanted to get one of these in my hands. 
the blind nuts are already in there. You can't, yeah, you can see them if you look in down the tail tube. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to be doing a full build video on this. Uh, I may, depending on how long it takes, I might have to break it into more than one video. I want to talk about radio programming with this. Uh, but that's all for now. I hope you like this. Please click like if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't, please click the little bell icon if you're a subscriber. And that way you'll get a notification every time I put out a new video. Thanks.